but you don't know what's on the other side. Mm-hmm. It's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I remember there was a very specific moment when I, there wasn't anything for me to hold on to anymore. I almost felt like my environment, like everything around was just falling away. Wow. And I couldn't understand. And that was the, the trigger of, <gasps> you know, my survival. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it was very interesting time. And I remember there was this moment where I just closed the door, like I told you I do. <laughs> when I'm like freaking out. <laughs> Going to the room by myself. And I just had this moment. I was just started crying and crying. And oh. I just sat there. Or maybe I was on, on my knees. I don't know. I was like crumbled on the floor somewhere in a pile. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and I just said, I surrender. I let go. And it was this thing of use me like what like there's nowhere for me to go but mm-hmm. here and take over like i'm i'm done whatever it was i'm holding on yeah, to yeah. i'm mm-hmm. sorry i'm laughing but but i, I know that you're <laughs> speaking from your internal process but if any of it has, uh, had opened the door oh and God. seen her in this process what you would have found is this beautiful perfect meditation <laughs> <laughs> So I understand what you're saying. I don't want to much feel like inside. Inside, that's how inside. She was I was feeling. like, <laughs> <laughs> there's so many times that I just yeah. come in. And it is just, gosh, I wish I had a camera going right now. This yeah. would be some great B-roll. Yeah. yeah, I do hear James. He like peek in. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> door. No, I think this time was different because oh, okay. I, I was definitely crying and well, the let but, it, yeah, yeah, but just like wow. let it go. Oh, and then I think it was that weekend or something. I said, okay, put on the camera. Wow. Life. And then I just went in and I did it. And it was like, poof, it just took off. Yeah. Um, How good did that be- feel? It felt, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, whoa, what's happening? But at the same time, peaceful because I knew, I was like, now I'm on path. Right. Mm-hmm. And I knew what I was doing before was not on path. It right. was just like, the yeah, a version of it. Well, not even. It was just, I wasn't saying yes Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. the soul path and when you and you know and it actually becomes more uncomfortable after a while to not do it Mm -hmm. than the fear of doing it and that was kind of the the point that i was at it was just so uncomfortable for sure and so i don't know for anyone listening i think that's a lot of people are at that point now in their lives where they know there's something more for them but there's a fear mm-hmm. and it's that threshold of just into the unknown. Into the unknown. I know. I'm <laughs> serious. We're just saying Frozen 2 first. That's, <laughs> that's, so that's really relevant. Powerful. We yeah. talked about that yesterday. We yeah. literally were talking mm-hmm. about right? that There's yesterday. so many people right now that can feel that soul yeah. urge and calling, but there's this fear of, well, will I be accepted? And yeah. will, what is it like to be seen? And in their own version, not saying you have mm-hmm. to be doing any of this, but just showing up and everybody, you know, we know inside, we, we know. Mm-hmm. And when we can stop and listen to what is my purpose, what is the calling? Mm-hmm. And then we live out that answer because the fear is the living it out, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it's putting yeah. the ego to the side yeah. again. And we have to put that ego aside just for a moment yeah. and to like open the space yeah. but to make the choice that what yeah. you said is so interesting it's so uncomfortable to live with that feeling yeah but it's just as uncomfortable to face it and do something about yeah. it mm-hmm. and so so it's really uncomfortable it's all yeah. Yeah. Either either way, way, either you go. Yeah. 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 how do you feel during this process yeah. right? deeply uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Yeah. right yeah. And, and you have to make the, the choice to either figure out how to cope with oh. the uncomfort and not do what you're here to do yeah and that and that's what i think is so important to people that could be listening it's like if you have that feeling that something isn't right in your life it's really easy to bury it and, yeah. and to hide from the uncomfort but you'll always feel it and you'll and you'll always also wonder if you didn't do something what would it like be? what would it be mm-hmm. if you had so would you rather like would you rather take the chance and possibly fail whatever that looks like but there is no fail if you take the chance and do something to face it and find that truth mm-hmm. and, and discover or continue your life always wondering and feeling uncomfortable yeah. like it's like which pill do you want to take well clearly You'll go with Morpheus, right? Like, right. let's go into the, like, to, like find the truth yeah. of it all, right? But the interesting thing, too, is, like, even in your situation, it's, like, <laughs> even you followed this path and it, in your perception, failed. Let's just say it wasn't right. connecting. Yeah. You can always go back to where you were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
right? Like, yeah. so really, if you look at in that situation, like the things that you want to do that you feel that soul calling, like what's the worst that happens? Okay, it doesn't work out or it doesn't, like at least you can go back to where you were and be like, well, that failed, but I learned so much. And at yeah. least now I have a clear answer. Maybe I have to take a slightly different road, right? So it's it's yeah. facing that fear of doing that first step to follow the path mm. and then letting it reveal itself. And the thing that's so beautiful and interesting is that when you can align with your purpose mm. and your soul's path, there's no way you'll, you'll fail. Yeah. Because one way or another, you'll affect somebody with it. And you you'll know discover what, I mean? what you're supposed to yeah, discover. Yeah, it's a discovery because a lot of people ask, yeah. well, I don't have this, um, an obvious thing. And mm -hmm. I think that's where we can get really stuck. And yeah. believe it or not, I didn't think singing was my thing. Mm -hmm. And it, when I say that, people are like, what? You know, mm -hmm. wouldn't that be? It was not. I I did. <laughs> I didn't I didn't at all and it was a discovery and mm -hmm. it's still a discovery and right. I think that's so important our our path is always unraveling yeah. and when we say yes to just the first part like you said I really love that you shared mm -hmm. that because it's so important for people to know that mm -hmm. it's just that first initial step mm -hmm. and then that door opens and maybe that thing like if we get attached to it and say this has to be it that can get you yeah. can get stuck and clouded in that, but For it's sure. just being open, like, okay, now I'm going to show up to this, yeah. and then this, and then this, and we don't know what that, that, the rest will unfold. Yes, and yeah. that's the mystery, and then the fear turns into curiosity, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's so beautiful as yeah. well mm -hmm. to experience. And learning to trust. Yeah. Once the first and the second and the third step was made, it's like, now just trust, Yeah. because whatever comes out of it is meant to be. And it's never yeah. easy to trust. It's never easy. It's of always course. fear. Like every but every time we go to do something, like even the, just this podcast, like there's yeah. so much fear involved in just sitting down and having conversations because you're doing something that's different and yeah. inordinate to what your everyday behavior is. So anytime we challenge anything that seems mm -hmm. like something new in life, like it comes with fear. And course, fear is yeah. the thing, the barrier that when you get through, it reveals what you were supposed to learn. And yeah. I think. I think like we're such a fear ridden society. It's so crazy to think yeah. about like how much fear controls every one of us. Mm -hmm. um, but the more you fight with it and the more you wrestle, in a sense, like I think when fear comes now, like to give it the respect it deserves, like to not be frustrated with it is a beautiful thing to be like, yeah, like what you said, I thought was so stunning. Like, I know you're there, but there's also love mm -hmm. and there's also discovery and there's also adventure and there's also all of the things that should I give you the credit you deserve? Sure, but I won't let you own me. Right. And I think that's like, that's something that's missing in our culture. It's like, everyone talks about like a fearless thing. Like there's no such thing as fearless. Like that's insane. Like it's like the, the Nelson Mandela thing about like, you know, like about courage. Like it's not the absence of fear. Like it's being able to know that it's there and continue on the path. Hi friends, if you enjoyed this clip and want to watch the entire episode, click the link in the description of this video to enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe.